It's what I look forward to. I think uh, I don't know how long ago I said um, I want to be able to I want to be the best player on both sides of the ball in the NBA. And um, like I told her, I think it was probably two years ago. It's something that I, I always worked. I've been working on. How much effort does it take to dethrone the champions in the NBA game? The Minnesota Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets gave fans the thrilling matchup they craved. The Timberwolves came back from a 15 point deficit at half time in game 7 to knock out the reigning champions. But amidst the high stakes drama, one player stood out, Anthony Edwards. Over the past year, Edwards has taken his game to a whole new level. What exactly has he done to shine so brightly this season? The Timberwolves are in the Western Conference Finals. They have their best chance in years to reach the NBA Finals. The only team that can stop them now is the Dallas Mavericks. The Timberwolves started strong, taking a surprising 2-0 lead against the Nuggets in their series. It looked like they would easily eliminate the Nuggets, but they still had to work hard to win. With his chin up and mischievous eyes, Edwards always seems like he's hungry for more even after pulling off amazing plays one after another. Just in this series, he's shown off moves that no other player could pull off, like in Game 6 where he fell hard on his tailbone, looked like he was in pain for a bit, then got up and nailed two perfect free throws. Edwards is known for his flashy dunks, but these ones were different. They were simple, no fancy moves, just getting the job done and they got the Timberwolves fired up. They did not disappoint. They dominated Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and the Nuggets by winning by 45 points. Anthony Edwards and Jaden McDaniels each scored over 20 points. Their strong defense limited Jokic to 22 points on 9 for 19 shooting, and Murray to 10 points on 4 for 18 shooting, including 2 for 7 from 3 point range. After this big win at home, Minnesota knew they needed to play just as well on the road in Denver, where they had won twice before. By halftime though, it looked like they were struggling. Edwards in particular had trouble with his shooting, finishing the first half with only 1 for 7 shooting. With Naz Reed, the 2023-2024 6th man of the year, and Rudy Gobert, the defensive player of the year on the team, along with their all-stars, they had the talent to stage a comeback. And that's exactly what happened. Everyone stepped up to help Edwards, who had a quieter game than usual, finishing with 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. They overcame a 20-point deficit in the third quarter. Carl Anthony Towns and Jaden McDaniels, whom Edwards later called Minnesota's MVP of the round, each scored 23 points, leading the Timberwolves to a 98-90 victory. Towns praised his teammates for stepping up when needed. Many people have compared Edwards to Michael Jordan, the famous basketball player. Over the last 30 years, quite a few players have been called the next Jordan. Some did really well, like Kobe Bryant and Penny Hardaway, while others didn't quite live up to the hype, like Jerry Stackhouse and Grant Hill. But when it comes to similarities, Edwards really stands out. He's got the smooth mid-range shots, the powerful dunks, and the signature turnaround fadeaway move that all reminds people of Jordan. And that's not even mentioning how high he can jump and how strong he is in the air, making it seem like he's floating while others struggle to keep up. But only to see Edwards as a young version of Jordan is to miss out on what truly makes him special. He's got his own unique style and energy that sets him apart from everyone else. Medina's view that most people like Edwards for his personality and charisma is hard to argue against. Edwards is a young player with the right work ethic and an approach to improving his game. The Timberwolves had told him he needed to become more vocal in the locker room. At that time, he felt uncomfortable doing this because he didn't want to overshadow stars like Town. The encouragement from the team showed he had their respect. 
Even though he is young, he is really good and backs it up with his work ethic. There is no arguing that. In the 2023-24 playoffs, Edwards has been shining bright like a star. His performances even have people comparing him to one of the greatest NBA players ever, Michael Jordan. But Edwards is getting tired of hearing those comparisons. But when you look at the numbers and the history, it's clear Edwards is in good company. He's joined a prestigious list of players who led their teams to the Final Four NBA Finals at the age of 22 or younger, including LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Shaquille O'Neal. Sometimes he's like a little fairy, slipping past defenders, and the next moment he's taking up a lot of space on the court. He's not just any ant, he's more like one of those weird jellyfish from the deep sea that can change its shape and size whenever it wants. But maybe his best talent is being spontaneous, knowing exactly what kind of player to be in every situation. While there are a lot of fantasy players out there, Edwards is the real deal, an improvisational master who seems to have a special connection on time and space. In just his third playoff appearance, Edwards is putting up big numbers. He's averaging 20 8.9 points per game with impressive shooting percentages of 50, 40, 84. Meanwhile, he is the second best assist maker on the Timberwolves, averaging 5.9 assists per game just behind veteran Mike Conley. Edwards is also pulling down 6.2 rebounds per game, which is the third highest on the team after big men go Burt and Towns. Out of his 28.9 points per game, 9.7 come from driving to the basket, where he's rarely efficient, making 57.1% of those shots. But he has also scored a good chunk of his points from pull-up shots, averaging 11.3 points per game at a solid 43.6% shooting rate. Most most importantly, Edwards is just plain fun to watch, a must-see star in a league where many of the top young players are from Canada or Europe. Whether it's this year or in the future, it seems like the Timberwolves are on track to win their first championship with Edwards leading the way. The NBA's American future is already here, and his name is Anthony Edwards. In the Nuggets series, his driving game was even better. He scored 10.1 points per game on a 58.7 shooting percentage when driving, and he averaged 9.9 .9 points per game on pull-up shots, shooting 41.8% from the field. Throughout the series, he averaged 27.7 total points per game, which is 9.1 points more than the second leading scorer, Towns, who averaged 18.6 points. While Edwards contributes in many ways, his scoring rarely stands out. It's a big reason why the Timberwolves beat both the Phoenix Suns and the Nuggets to make it to the West Finals. Share your thoughts on this in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time.